question four is a straight line graphs question. Let's start it off week one of the A level back in the first year. You're told that we've got line one that's here, and so line one we know has got a gradient of two. Line two is perpendicular to it, so line two, the gradient is minus a half. We know it goes through the x number minus two and the y number three, and so we do y take away the y number equals gradient x take away the x number, take away minus two being plus, and this time we will multiply it out and add the three to both sides. And so we've got three marks for doing a straight line equation. Part B is slightly more interesting that what we're saying here is that there are a couple of points on the line here. Here's B and here's C. So that this is a, um, an equilateral triangle. And that we actually know that the distance between them, here to here and here to here, um, is 2 root 3. You might think you don't know the equations of these. Actually, I've got these two around the wrong way. Actually, that one's C and that one's B. You don't need to worry about that till later, but it just actually tells you this one here. That B lies in the third quadrant, and quadrants are labelled the first quadrant here, the second quadrant's here, this one's the third quadrant. It doesn't matter too much until the end. That's a point coming up. So look, we actually know what the coordinates of these things are. The coordinates of part B are actually x and x take away 1, because we know that it's on the line. We know that the coordinates of A were minus 2, 3, and we want to know how far apart they are. To be honest, I prefer to do this as a vector, that from A to B, from there to there, is x add 2. From there to there is 2x minus 4. And now I want to find out the, the length of that vector. So the length of that vector is x plus 2 all squared plus 2x minus 4 all squared, square rooted. And we know that that's going to equal, what did they tell us? 2 root 13. So we'll go through the algebra and do that in a second. If you don't want to do vectors, well, look, you're doing exactly the same here. You're doing how far apart are these two points. So it's x minus minus 2, so x plus 2 all squared plus 2x minus 1 minus 3, all squared. We've got exactly the same thing here. Well, look, got to work through this algebra then. So we've got to square the brackets um, from the first one. We've got to square the brackets for this second one as well. So I've got minus 16x minus, plus 16 there. And I think we'll square both sides at the same time. So 4 times 13. I've got 52 here. And Tidying up all the algebra, I've got 5x squared minus 12x minus 32 equals 0. And again, look, it's another show that. This has been added to make the questions easier. Um, so you've got four marks for that. Um, once you've done that, you're just going to tap that into the calculator and find out your answers. So tapping in the calculator, got x is 4 and x is minus 8 fifteenths. That gives y is 7 and y is minus 21 over 5. It's only at this part here that you have to worry about that third quadrant stuff I was talking about before. I mean, it's just a guess which one of them. Look, this one here is in the first quadrant, so the one we want is this one here. And I have cut off how many marks I got there. That's four marks. I'm surprised that's four marks. Just been looking at the mark scheme, trying to find out why that's four marks, and, and what they're suggesting is that you should have really used algebra to do this, actually factorise that by hand, um, which I'm quite surprised about. Um, you should have factorised it and found out the answer is four and minus eight over five without using the calculator, saying that you should have shown all your working. 